On the previous episode, I showed you how to make a simple temperature gauge using the micro bit and a servo. Recently, I've noticed that my food has been mysteriously disappearing from the refrigerator. So this time, I'm going to show you how to make a food thief alarm using the Bluetooth radio on the micro bit. The micro bit's main processor contains a Bluetooth low energy radio, which means it can talk to other micro bits, many computers, and most smartphones. For this project, you'll need two micro bits, so you may want to find a partner who's willing to work together. We'll start with a simple two way communication example where we'll write one program that gets loaded onto both micro bits. Go ahead and plug in your first micro bit to your computer. Start a new project in Make Code. From Radio, drag Radio Set Group 1 to On Start. Change the radio group number from 1 to something else, like 42. You'll want to make sure you're using a different channel number from anyone else in your general vicinity. A channel number is like a radio station. If your two micro bits are talking on channel 42 and a third micro bit joins channel 42, it can now receive all messages and send out messages to everyone else on that channel. If you want to keep your communications between just your two micro bits, you should make sure other micro bits in the area join other channels like 43 or 8. Now, drag an on button A pressed from input to your work area. From radio, snap radio send string to on button A pressed. Type yes in the string box. Right click on button A pressed and select duplicate. In the copied block, change A to B and change yes to no. This will allow us to press the A button on our micro bit and transmit the word yes to our partner's micro bit. Likewise, by pressing B, we can send the word no. Now, we need a way to receive and display messages. From radio, drag on radio received received string to your program. Drag a show string block from basic and snap it into the on radio received block. Grab a received string variable from variables and snap it into the show string, replacing the default hello. This section of code says that whenever we receive a message from another micro bit in the same radio group as us, we should scroll it across our LED array. Download this program and then copy it to your micro bit. Unplug your micro bit and plug in the second micro bit. Copy the same file you downloaded into the new micro bit drive. Make sure both micro bits have power. Now, when you press the A button on one, yes appears on the other. Same thing with pressing B, the word no scrolls across the other micro bit. This is a very simple messenger app you just made. Try asking your friends some questions and have them send back responses that only you get to see the answer to. We're going to take this one step further and create a simple silent burglar alarm so that I can see when someone is stealing my food. Plug in one of your micro bits. We'll use this one as the sensor that reports whenever it sees light. Back in make code, Start a new project. Drag a radio set group block from radio to on start. Set the group to something unique like 103. Go to logic and drag an if then block to forever. Grab a less than block from logic and snap it to the if section. Get a light level from input and replace the first zero in the inequality block. Change less than to greater than and change the second zero to five. The micro bit, oddly enough, uses its LED array to detect light levels and it's not very sensitive. I found that in a shadow, the micro bit will read a zero for light level. So we'll need to place our alarm sensor near a light source to detect when the refrigerator door is opened. From radio, snap a radio send number block into the then section. Change zero to one. Now, whenever our micro bit detects light, it will send the number one across the radio to our receiver. This number could be anything, really. We just need to send something. Add a pause block from basic just after the if then block. Change 100 to 3000 to make sure our sensor does not send a message more than once every three seconds. Change the name of the project to something like alarm sensor. Download this and copy it to your micro bit. Unplug your first micro bit. Remember that this first one will be the sensor that needs to be placed in your refrigerator, drawer, closet, etc. Since the second micro bit is supposed to be an alarm, we'll add a speaker to it. We'll use a mini PC mount speaker. Note that many of these tiny speakers have a marking showing which pin is positive. 
Connect an alligator clip to the ground pad on the micro bit and connect the other end to the negative pin of the speaker. Use another alligator clip to connect pin zero to the positive pin on the speaker. We're going to upload a different program to the second micro bit, so plug it into your computer using a USB cable. Start a new project. Drag a radio set group block to on start and change the group number to the same as your transmitter, which was 103 for me. Drag an on radio received block from radio to your project area. Drag an if then block from logic to the on radio received block. Grab an equality block from logic and snap it to if. In variables, drag received number to the first zero in the equality block. Change the second zero to one. This says to only execute code in the then section if we receive the number one over the radio. Grab a show LEDs block from basic and snap it to the then section. Draw some fun image here. I'll make an angry face because if I see it up here, it means someone is trying to steal my food. In music, drag a start melody block under the show LEDs block. Change the melody to something like jump up, which is just a short burst of a few notes. Add a pause block from basic under start melody. Change the pause time to 1000 milliseconds. Finally, go to basic, click more, and drag a clear screen under pause. Rename this project to something like alarm notifier. Download and copy to your second micro bit. The first micro bit is the sensor, and I've added a battery pack so that I don't need to run a power cord through the refrigerator. I'll put the sensor near the light of the refrigerator so that when the door is opened, it begins transmitting messages to my receiving micro bit, and then I'll be able to catch the thief. I set up my micro bit receiver to be near my work area so that I can get notified if somebody opens the refrigerator door. Note that the micro bit radios won't work if the devices are more than 10 meters or 30 feet apart from each other. I've also attached my receiver to a power source which means now we play the waiting game. And that's all there is to using radio communication on the micro bit with make code. I hope this gives you some ideas for your own project. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a sandwich with my name on it that needs to be consumed. <laughs>